Hello my brothers and sisters, this is already part 3 of our funny religious history of West Europe. Dominique et Nicanique s'en allaient tout simplement Au Dieu, pauvre et chantant En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu Il ne parle que du bon Dieu the next 500 years were gracefully used to beat Christianity and more especially Catholicism in the head of the common people. Just enough to convince them that hell and heaven exist and that everybody had to take care of their souls. In the old Germanic religion the soul wasn't that important because the goal was to arrive with the whole body to Valhalla. Now, this soul had to be purified from all personal sin and even from a sin that someone has made thousands of years ago. Fortunately, this convincing work was done in the year 1095 to recruit enough sinners to make a little trip to liberate Palestine from those unfaithful who occupied our ruler's straightways to East Asia. Commonly, these adventures were called the Crusades and granted a remission of sin for everybody able to join and to liberate this holy land. Let's make another jump of 500 years to these two important persons in history, Martin Luther and Johannes Calvin. No, I said 500 years. Sorry. The work of this gentleman and the renaissance of humanism by people like Erasmus of Rotterdam meant whole Europe in a 30 year long war which resulted in 8 million dead. Dead to fights, certainly, but also hunger and the pest helped a lot. Countries like Denmark and Sweden lost two thirds of their population only because they sent so many troops to this war, which was fought mainly on the territory of the Holy Roman Empire of German nations. Imagine the common peasant. Sometimes it happened that one day, when the Catholic League had won, he had to be Catholic, and the other day, when the Protestant League won, he became Protestant, and this during 30 years until the treaties of Osnabrück and Münster. But what happened meanwhile to make Christianity tasty for us? Germanics, yeah, just saying Anglo-Saxons were also Germanic, like the Dini, which became the Danes, or the Normans. Well, Christianity gave us some of our Germanic holidays we liked so much back. Like Christmas. Christmas this has absolutely nothing to do with Christianity. This is the day where we have our winter solstice. Yes, this was the day where we were happy to see the days become longer again. Sure, in the desert you don't celebrate such days. There you are happy to see days shorter, days where the sun burns less on your skull. Yes, Christianity noticed that in this period of the year they had something like an event vacuum and then decided to score some points with the Germanics by offering to celebrate the birth of Jesus at this day. Many other days would fit better to this history of Jesus, but no matter, the main thing is to offer a celebration. The same thing happened with our celebration of spring. Our goddess Ostera became Easter. For us, they transformed this Christianity so much that you can't even see today the originality that it came from the desert. Even on our pictures, Jesus don't look like Arafat or Osama bin Laden or Gaddafi, which would be normal with his origins, 
No, he looks always like Jude Law or Owen Wilson. The desert is away, but the saints, the celebration, the frank essences, they, they remain with us. In the next chapter, we will see another desert religion which is since a long time in Europe. Even in the war of 30 years, the Muslim of the Osman Empire fought on the side of the Protestant coalition. For today, you know what to do with the thumb. Mm -hmm. If there are more questions, there is a space down for you to write it down. If you like this serial, tell it to your friends. If not, please keep it for yourself. For today, caress you and thank you very much.